Hey everyone, it's Sevi. Top Diver Fremenet completes our trio of Fontaine Spatui siblings for this version 4.0. Despite his shyness, Fremenet is an on-field DPS that stacks up his damage with the help of his penguin assistant pair. There are some interesting mechanics to his gameplay, so in order to help you understand it all, this guide will cover his kit and talents, constellations, best artifact and weapon builds, team synergies, and gameplay tips. Let's dive in. We'll take a look at Fremenet's kit, talents, and gameplay mechanics first. His normal attacks are a regular 4-hit physical combo. They're nothing fancy by themselves, but their main purpose is to help in ramping up his skill attacks. Casting Fremenet's skill deals cryo damage, generates two particles, and makes him enter the pair timer state for 10 seconds. This can also deal Numa cryo damage every 9 seconds. During the pair timer state, you can see pair now floating beside him with four bars indicating his current pressure level. Normal attacks are now accompanied by an added instance of small cryo damage, and every normal attack increases his pressure level by 1, and each pressure level corresponds to a shattering pressure skill attack. Level 0 deals full cryo damage, levels 1 to 3 deal a combination of physical and cryo damage with different multipliers, and level 4 deals full physical damage. You can choose which shattering pressure level you want to execute by pressing his skill when you reach it, which will end the pair timer state. And if you reach pressure level 4, then his next normal attack will be forcibly converted into a level 4 shattering pressure attack. Given these, you generally want to use this skill while his burst state is active due to its added benefits. Casting from an ace burst first deals AoE cryo damage, resets the skill cooldown, and makes him enter the subnautical hunter state for 10 seconds. During this, he gains increased interruption resistance and decreased skill cooldown by 70%, making it now only 3 seconds by default. The particle generation of his skill also changes if his burst is active, generating only 1 instead of the regular 2. The cryo damage dealt by his normal attacks will also now deal double their original damage. Furthermore, each normal attack now generates two pressure level stacks, which means you can only alternate among pressure level 0, 2, or 4 during his burst state. Because of the faster cooldown and pressure stacking, Fremenet's attack combos now become more fast-paced as you'll have to weave in skills and normal attacks depending on your preferred playstyle, which I'll discuss soon. Let's take a quick look at his passives before that. His Ascension 1 passive will make his skill cooldown decrease by 1 second if he uses level 0 to 3 shattering pressure attacks, which makes his combos that don't require his level 4 attack more fluid to execute. Then his Ascension 4 passive makes his shatter reactions give a 40% damage bonus to shattering pressure skill attacks. This incentivizes having a Hydro teammate to help Fremenet freeze then shatter enemies. And his Exploration passive fittingly decreases your aquatic stamina consumption, making underwater exploration easy. Now for his attack combos, it mainly depends if you're using him in a physical or cryo-focused playstyle, though I'd recommend physical more. For his physical combo, you'll want to execute his level 4 shattering pressure since it has the highest physical damage multiplier. So you'll want to start with his skill, then activate his burst right away, which resets the skill cooldown, funnels the particles, and enters the subnautical state. Then do normal attacks until you execute his level 4 shattering pressure. His skill should have cooled down by then, so restart it and execute normal attacks until you do his level 4 shattering pressure. Depending how fast you do his combos, you might have time to insert a normal attack before restarting his skill combo. Then rinse and repeat until his burst state runs out, at which point you will want to rotate through your teammates, recharge energies, and refresh abilities. For a cryo DPS playstyle, this is more fast paced since his level 0 shattering pressure has the highest cryo damage multiplier, meaning you're going to press the skill button in quick succession. Start with a skill then burst, then you can skill right away for a level 0 attack. Then you repeatedly just do skill to skill combos and fill in the cooldown time with a normal attack if needed. Due to his decreased cooldown from his first ascension passive, this can be executed very quickly. It may take some practice getting the rhythm of his gameplay, but it's actually quite engaging and it's pretty cool that there are different ways to play him. As we go along, I'll have build and team info for both his physical and cryo playstyles. For his talent priority, level up his normal attack and skill talents first since those are where his main damage multipliers are. Leveling his burst talent is low priority. Fremenet's kit is already quite cohesive at C0, so let's see what his constellations will improve. C1 gives a 15% crit rate increase to shattering pressure attacks, resulting in more DPS. C2 makes his level 0 to 3 shattering pressure attacks restore 2 energy, while the level 4 attack restores 3 energy, which helps address his energy needs. C3 increases his normal attack level by 3. C4 makes frozen, shatter, and superconduct triggers give him a 9% stackable attack bonus, maxing at 2 stacks. These reactions will naturally be there in his best teams anyway. C5 increases his skill level by 3, and C6 makes 
attacks triggering Frozen, Shatter, and Superconduct give Fremenay a stacking crit damage bonus. All in all, most of his constellations are concerned with boosting his damage output, with C2 addressing his energy. Now let's move on to his artifact build, starting with his preferred stats. For the main stats, you want attack for his sands, physical or cryo damage bonus for his goblet, depending on how you'll use him, and crit rate or crit damage for his circlet, depending on what will give a good crit ratio. For his substats, simply prioritize crit, attack, and ER. You can aim for 130 to 150% ER to generally get his burst back each rotation. This goes a bit lower with C2 and can still vary according to teammates, extra energy equipment, number of enemies, etc. Moving on to his sets, if you're going for a physical build, then the 4-piece Pale Flame will be his best set but 2-piece combos of physical damage and or attack sets can come close to the Pale Flame set if you manage to get really good substats on your pieces. But what about normal attack buffing sets? While it may look like he's mostly doing normal attacks, his shattering pressure skill attacks also contribute a big portion of his damage, so the previously mentioned set bonuses will perform better as they buff both his normal and skill attacks. Then for a cryo-focus build, the 4-piece Golden Troop is a very good option due to its high skill damage bonus, even if he can't fully maximize the additional off-field bonus as an on-field unit. After that, the two-piece combos of Blizzard Strayer and attack sets with really good substats are his next best option. Unfortunately, even if he's on a freeze team, the four-piece Blizzard Strayer will have lower potential due to Fremenay's Claymore attacks shattering frozen enemies, which will disable the Blizzard Strayer's crit rate bonus. You'll get the partial crit rate bonus on a mono cryo team, or as long as you can maintain a cryo aura on enemies, but it still won't reach its full potential and will be better utilized by other cryo DPSs. I'll also mention the four-piece Marichose Hunter as an option for either playstyle, but it comes with a heavy disclaimer. While the high crit bonus gives it so much potential, the main limitation is that if a unit has no innate way of manipulating their HP, then it becomes a very conditional bonus. So while it technically has high potential on Fremenay, the setup required can be hard or inconsistent. This can change if another unit in the future comes along that can easily manipulate their teammate's HP, but for now, be warned of its conditions if you're thinking about using this on him. Now for his weapon options, a lot of our available claymores are quite viable, so let's just summarize his most notable picks. Among free-to-play friendly claymores, Prototype Archaic and Tidal Shadow are his general top options with very close to similar performances depending on his buffs received, so you can go with whichever you've already crafted or invested in. The Snowtomb Star Silver is strictly for a physical build due to its substat. If you can consistently proc its passive, which deals a strong cryo hit on enemies affected by cryo, then it's competitive with the other craftables, but if not, then it'll fall behind. The Black Cliff Slasher is also a close option and gets better performance if you can proc its passive. However, that won't be the case in boss fights, and I don't recommend using your Star Glitter to purchase this since the craftables exist. As for non-free weapons, Fremenay's best 4-star is the Serpent's Bind thanks to its high crit rate and stackable damage bonus, and it can be very competitive versus 5-star options at high refinement. However, aside from being locked behind the battle pass, this does come with a condition of losing the bonus if he takes damage, so you may want to run him with a shielder or have really good dodging skills to ensure that the weapon performs at maximum potential. And if you have any of the 5 star claymores, they will work well on him and are generally better than most 4 stars with different considerations for their substats and bonuses. Finally, let's take a look at what teams Fremenay can best synergize with. His first template is a physical team. This consists of Fremenay, an Electro to trigger Superconduct which shreds physical resistance, and two flex slots that can be taken by a buffer, off-field DPS, and or survival unit depending on your preference. Having a Hydro unit can also enable freeze and shatter reactions. Some notable flex slot examples could be Synchro or Yelon, whose bursts can be driven by Fremenay's on-field normal attacks along with providing other utilities, Kokomi, who can heal and apply AoE Hydro, plus buff Fremenay via 4-piece Tenacity and or Thrilling Tails, a non-C6 Bennett whose attack buff will boost Fremenay's damage by a lot while healing, Rosaria, who's an all-in-one cryo battery, crit rate buffer, and off-field DPS. She even shreds the enemy's physical resistance with her C6. A C6 Mika, who can help buff Fremenay's damage by a lot lot while also consolidating your healer, Zhongli who provides a really thick shield while shredding all elemental resistances, and so on. There are a lot of other options that provide different utilities and as long as they don't disrupt Fremenay's physical damage and related reactions, they can generally work in this team. Then for a cryo-focused team, Fremenay can first be comped with a hydro or cryo unit. Having a hydro unit will enable him to shatter enemies, which triggers his relevant passive and constellations that are activated by shatter, while another cryo unit helps add more cryo damage for the team. An Animo VV unit that can shred cryo resistance will be highly recommended as well, then you can leave a flex slot for a damage dealer or support unit. 
Shattering provides a bit of extra damage, except for bosses that are immune to freeze. However, this means that you can't crowd control enemies as effectively since they won't stay frozen for long. It's also possible to make Fremenet do a reverse melt playstyle, which he'll need constant pyro application for, like with Shengling or a burning combo. However, he really isn't as suited for this playstyle due to his skills ICD and damage, so I don't recommend it as much. Another team that outputs very good baseline damage is a Fremenet Hyper Bloom team, because, well, it's Hyper Bloom. The core requires a Dendro, Hydro, and Electro unit, so Fremenet will take the flex slot and assume an on-field role. Thanks to his cryo application, Fremenet can apply cryo to enemies, which can help with their Dendro core generation and freeze them, then his Claymore attacks will consequently shatter them. However, shattering them does prevent the crowd control and cryo aura effect of freeze from lasting. Even then, as a Hyper Bloom team, this comp will still innately have good output. Overall, Fremenet's performance pretty much aligns with what we've come to expect of current 4 stars, but what pleasantly surprised me was his very interesting kit playstyle that actually acknowledged the existence of Shatter, and having gameplay mechanics that are more engaging than usual. But I'm interested to know what you think about Fremenet. Let me know in the comments, especially if you already got him or were able to try him out. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you all soon. Take care!